Right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutes to Yaakim teaching his word to the elect in truth and sincerity. So, Izar from GMS London, England, UK. All right, coming with another video. Uh, this one, I'm um, going to be going into 2nd Ezra 9. All right, uh, yeah, because, you know, we're in that time. Okay, you know, it's, it's important to know what time we're in. So, you know, there's a lot going on and, and we can see it. So I'm going to jump straight into it. All right. Second Ezra is nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So we have to measure the time, you know, and it says uh, measure the time diligently in itself. So, yeah, you know, looking, uh, you know, on the news, you know, going through these articles all right, being spiritual, okay, observing the environment around you, you know, because you can see, man, in, in um, as they say, uh, if you people watch, you know, you know, you might be in a park, you know, on a bench or something, you might be just people watching, you know, you can see like the the, the atmosphere is very, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of tense, man, you know. You know, we're, we're living in some serious times, you know, and people are, they can see that, you know, people will tell you that they'll say, oh, oh, you know, uh, tough times we're in, you know, oh, you know, it's never been a time like this. And, you know, people will say things like that, you know, we're in the end, end days or some people, you know, you might actually even tell you that. All right. Which that, they'll be true. You know, that's correct. We are in the last days. OK, and we know that by the signs. All right, which are spoken of in the Holy Bible, okay? The rumors of wars. All right, the the um, earthquakes in diverse places. All right, the pestilences. All right, the famines. You know, on and on. All right, the, the signs that we were given. That's how we we know what time we're in. Okay, so how do we measure the time? We use this word, the scriptures, the prophecies. All right, these prophecies are, are letting us know exactly what time we're in, man. Look at the, the MOTB, all right, the Revelations 13, 16. Okay, how they're pushing that heavy, all right, and that uh, digital um, internet uh, of uh, things. That's increasing more, all right, and that's how we know that we're in the end, the last days. Okay, so it says, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so this is leading up to an, an event, all right, and the greatest event, which is the return of our Lord. That's what all these signs uh, signal, all right, more what so-called UFOs, okay, uh, reports of, uh, you know, uh, UAPs. UFOs, man. All right, uh, chariots of, of the Lord. Okay, that's a, that's a sign of Esau's downfall. All right, the end of this wicked kingdom, judgment. All right, which is coming. Okay, because that's what the Lord's coming to do. All right, He's not coming to shake everyone's hand and come to the leaders of the world and say, "Good job, well done," you know, you know, as you were. You know, nah. He's coming to tear them out of power, man. To bring judgment, destruction, destroy them. Okay, for all the wickedness that they do in the earth, all the oppression and, and the evils that they've done unto the Lord's people. All right. So the Lord's coming back angry, all right, with intense uh, wrath and judgment. All right. This is his earth. It, it, scripture says that the earth is the Lord's footstool. Okay. But you got the wicked, which is Esau, the so-called white man running around the earth like he owns everything, like he's made everything. No, the Lord's coming to boot him out of power and bring him down into slavery, into, into captivity. Okay, that, that's the judgment. Revelations 13 and 9 and 10, that's what's coming. Okay, the Lord is going to put down all these nations and, and their, you know, the, the scripture says the Lord's going to have many crowns on his head when he comes, all right? Because he's going to take down all the rulerships. And this is what, we, you know, we hasten a day for, man. We desire this to happen because as soon as that happens... That's the, the, when the kingdom of heaven can be established on the earth, which will be a righteous kingdom forever. 
All right. So that's why we are looking for these signs, man, and, and measuring the time that we're in. Okay. So another sign here, it says verse three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Okay. So, the, the, and there was a, a earthquake just recently, I believe it was Pakistan. I believe what, one of those countries, I think it was Pakistan where you had like over at least a thousand people just got taken out. The judgment or the, or the Lord just had at least a thousand people just, you know, slain by, you know, this, this earthquake that happened, you know? And there's many earthquakes, man. There's earthquakes going on all over the globe, man. Different all over, you know, parts of the, the map. You know, earthquakes happening everywhere. That's a sign. The Lord's judging this place. You know, the Lord's return is, is close. All right, another sign. It says, an uproars of the people in the world. All right, every other day you're hearing of, a, really every day there's a protest going on somewhere in the world. Somewhere in the world, somebody's unhappy. People are complaining about the way the system is, the way the rulers are, how wicked the people are. All right, you, you had uh, in um, in London uh, just recently this week, you had up uh, was it uproars, protests going on about you know the the living crisis. All right, people they're they're feeling the squeeze, Esau squeezing these uh, ordinary uh, everyday people, man. All right, the the cost of living is going up. The price on gas, petrol, all these resources, all right, which is being stirred by tensions between uh, Russia and the world, all right, ultimately, because, you know, Russia is now the big baddie, the boogeyman of the world, all right, conveniently for America when, you know, America's no better, okay? All the, the, the um, false pretense for, for war, all right, that America's, you know, uh, uh, you know, spearheaded all the bloodshed that America spilled on on the, the, you know, the land of America, stealing the land from the native Americans, the, the Israelites, all right, the slavery of the Israelites. So that's why, you know, they ain't going to have peace. You know, the scripture says there's no peace unto the wicked. So people are always going to be complaining about the wicked rulership of, of these Edomites, all right? Because they're unjust, they're, they're evil, evil people, right? The scripture says the wicked, right? So yeah, that's, that's what's going on, man. You know, inflation is going up, you know, the, uh, food shortages going up. All these evils are increasing in the world. And these people, you know, they're marching and protesting, which ain't going to do a damn thing. But it's a sign of the times that we're in, all right? Now verse 4 says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So yeah, the spiritual man, right, was going to look at these things happening in the world, you know, uh, and say, you know, wow, like these things are like they're actually happening. They're taking place. Yeah. And, and why is that spark going to go off in your head? Because we were told this, all right? Our Lord told us of these signs that would happen. Okay. From the beginning. All right. It says, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, the, the end is coming. The end is here, man. All right, the end of this wicked empire and this kingdom, the end of the wicked rulership, that's all coming crashing down, now, and the Lord's bringing judgment. All right, that's why you're seeing all of this chaos in society. That's, that's why you're seeing so much crisis, all right, because th this world is headed for a collapse. Money, all right, the money's going to fail economic collapse, food, uh, uh, you know, uh, short, uh, well, famine, food, you know, all these things that we're seeing, all right? And not to mention the World War Three, all right? Icing on the cake, nuclear missiles. This is all judgment written of in the scriptures, man, how this is all going to play out, all right? This is the Lord's movie. His prophecies are taking place, all right? So this place has an end, all right? The Lord has determined the end of this place, all right? No man knows that the day or the hour except the Heavenly Father. But we have the signs to know that we're in that season. We're in that time of the end, all right? And, and it's going to come, you know, unawares to most people except, you know, the, the Lord's elect that are watching for these signs, all right? We're aware of the times we're in, all right? We're, we're uh, ushering in the kingdom. We're blowing the trumpet, all right? Sounding an alarm, all right? 
So it says, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Yeah, so you're going to see all types of things happening, man. You know, the Lord is going to open up, uh, you know, open up a whole bunch of spaces of judgment, okay? Whether that be the, the spooky things people don't want to talk about, all right, the demons, the, the apparitions, the... Uh, the wild beasts, all right, the, you know, with uh, teeth to tear, you know, all these type of things are going to start coming, all right? Grievous judgments, man. People just being, you know, taken out, man, by, by the Lord and, and by, you know, Esau, you know, the military, the martial law that's coming. You know, we, we speak about Jacob's trouble. That's coming as well, man. So that's, you know, a, a time that we're headed in, man. All right? And you're going to want the Lord with you to, to deliver you in that day. Okay? Because when the Lord returns, it is going to be the you know greatest re return, greatest event ever in the world, man. Okay? With the, the glory of the, the chariots, the angels returning with the Lord, the army of heaven. Okay? It's going to be... <laughs> hey, the best movie. I can't even put it into words really to describe... How amazing and glorious is going to be. It's, it's, yeah, you got to see it. All right. Scripture says, All eyes shall see the Lord, man. All right. And it's coming. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. I right? showing you, you need works and faith, okay, to be saved. All right. Also to be an Israelite, because to have faith, you, you know, you got to, that's a gift of the Lord. All right, to have faith, to believe. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Yeah, so that's how you're getting out of here, doing the work of the Lord, okay? Only the elect are going to be taken out of here, man. Only uh, them, you know, the elect chosen few are going to be preserved, all right, from the famine, from the uh, nuclear war, from pestilence, disease, outbreak, <laughs> all these things, you know? But those that didn't repent and take heed to the Lord, we, we, you know, hey, we don't want to be them, all right? And that's why we go, you know, uh, you know, out, you know, on the highways and byways, but we teach and we do what we can, all right? Because hey, those that aren't of the elect, that don't have this truth, that don't repent, they're going to be destroyed, man. Like, point blank, period. Just, like, that's it. Full stop. They ain't going to make it out. They ain't doing the work. They ain't having faith in the Lord. Who would it? You know, they ain't trusting in the Lord. Then they're going to be done, right? Verse 9, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Yeah, they're going to be destroyed, man. Tormented. Punished, all right. Especially when he, you know, the, the um, you know, they they mandate that uh, that chip out, man. You know, everybody's getting, you know, the karagma. They're gonna be, you know, messed up. And ultimately, that that uh, the plague, the last plague, that plague, man, of the the missiles. The eyes are gonna consume away, all right. The flesh, you know, they're gonna be burned alive, man. You know, and, and before then, they're going to be going through all sorts of chaos and, and hell in, into society, all right, in a, the collapse. This is the, the judgment of the Lord, man. This is going to be a time like no other, right? Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Right? So the only the elect, you know, are going to be delivered, all right, from these times that we're in, the bad times, the evils. Because it's going to be so bad, it tells you that we're going to need angels to intervene. We're going to need the Lord to deliver us, all right? Which the children of thy people be in the Israelites, and it's going to start with the elect. Because they're the ones that are, are going to be, uh, they're found written in the book, the, the Bible, man. They're, they're the chosen. Okay. But it tells you that, that there is going to be that time of trouble. There is going to be that, you know, uh, great tribulation. 
you know, great, uh, uh, great death, destruction. Okay, this is the collapse of of the wicked's kingdom, man. So it's gonna be a time of all out uh, tribulation. Okay. So I'm gonna close with uh, this is the book of Luke. Right, this is Luke chapter twenty one. And verse 25, it says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Okay, so yeah, and all, all the signs in the heavens, the blood moons, strawberry moons, wolf moons, you know, planets aligning, you know, which we're coming up to another, like all the planets are all going to be aligned. All right, there's all these chariot sightings, you know, so these are signs, man, more signs at the end, more signs of the coming of the Lord, all right? And the Lord said also he, uh, he's come to send fire on the earth and uh, what will I if it be already kindled? So you're going to see these nations in the uproar, you're going to see chaos and uh, conflict happening on the earth, you know? Forest fires as well, that's increasing, more judgment. And these nations, man, they're going to be in shock. Their faces are going to be... Uh, Turned upside down, man. They, they ain't going to be able to have any uh, answers for what's going on. They're going to be taken back, confounded. Okay? Especially when them nukes fly. All right? When them nukes go off and them nukes start dropping. Man, that's going to be the Lord, man. The Lord's going to have that set in motion. All right? Where they're going to... Hey, these nations is going to get serious. All right? The conflict's going to get to a boiling point And them nukes are going to be used, man. Them ICBMs are going to be pressed. Okay? Enough buttons are going to be touched in those days, man. All right. Verse 26 says, Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You see, and people are going to have heart attacks, dra you know, dropping dead on the spot. You know, all types of madness is going to be seen in these last days. People's eyes aren't going to, you know, believe what they're witnessing. In the times to come, the near future, all right? People already bugging out, losing their minds over food shortages. Uh, uh, you know, ain't ain't you know finding toilet paper in in the supermarkets and whatever, and they're giving people the left, right, uppercuts, jabs, and all of that. Okay, so in the time when it comes worse, you already know, man. These people are gonna be the like animals that they are, man. <laughs> uh, but you know, the scripture says that my elect shall eat. You know, the Lord's gonna take care of his chosen elect man okay especially in a time when there's so much destruction the scriptures tell you the earth's gonna shake and reel to and fro like a drunkard so it's no joke all right and these elites man they're seeing the signs that they're gonna be they're fearful now they see that the israelites waking up they see this true gospel being spread by the way of the internet and the youtube and, and on the streets corners by the men of the lord they see these things going on, man. This word is powerful and it's, it's, it's fearful unto them because it's the truth. All right, now verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. That cloud represents the chariots, all right? The, the so-called UFO that the Lord is going to return in, all right? With power and great glory, an army of angels coming to, to destroy his enemies and to deliver his, his elect, all right, this is what we're waiting for, man. We're waiting on, and the whole world's gonna witness this. All right, exciting times that we're in, that we that we're getting ready to see. All right, it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. All right, so our redemption is close. All right, the kingdom of heaven is near, is at hand. All right. So I'm going to end it there. All praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Waharaka Kudash. Right? And, and hey, these are the times we're in. The news should let you know that. All right? The, the scriptures, sh you know, show us, you know, that this is the real deal, man. This is this is it. All right? So I'm going to end it there. All right? Uh, Lord willing, was edifying and to the elect, Shalom.